radiology brands and today I'm going to discuss about causes for curly lines okay you know that um, normal what you call lung lymphatics are not seen okay but if there is a thickening of lymphatics or a connective tissue then these produces curly lines curly lines okay so we have two different types one is a, a and a b and a c sorry three types of a b and c right so we're going to talk about that later but here i'm going to talk about the causes for the curly lines okay what are the causes for curly lines tell me if you see if in usmle if they tell you that their curly lines are present then what you should think of first mitral stenosis very important then we have left ventricular failure okay pneumoconiosis Okay. Then we have what you call lymphangitis carcinomatosis. Matosis. Okay. And the other causes can be there like interstitial fibrosis, okay? Then we have sarcoidosis, very important sarcoidosis. Okay, alveolar cell carcinoma, alveolar cell carcinoma, okay, or if there is any lymphatic obstruction, like lymphoma, okay, lymphangiectasia, okay, so these can produce what you call curly bill lines, right guys, thank you so much for watching this video, so try to remember curly lines means think of mitral stenosis, left vertical failure, think of uh, pneumoconiosis, think of uh, lymphangitis carcinomatosis, or interstitial fibrosis, sarcoidosis, Alveolar cell carcinoma, lymphatic obstruction. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.